Hi Donna, this is Steven from CMP GM here in Calgary. And this right here is our 2023 Hyundai Kona preferred all wheel drive. First things first, thank you for reaching out to CMP and thank you for the opportunity to show you some vehicles. What I'll do in this video is give you a brief walk around tour, go over some key features and explain why this vehicle is definitely worth your consideration. Now let's get started. First things first, it is a hail damage vehicle, okay? It has no accidents on the Carfax. However, it was damaged in our recent hailstorm. It is all over the vehicle. Um, hood, fenders, doors, roof. No getting around that fact, okay? If you're not interested, interested in this particular vehicle or any hail damage units, okay, I do have non-hail uh, damage units, okay? But don't discount this just yet because for the price right i think it offers a lot of value and second thing is it has no accidents on the carfax and the hail is not claimed as well um so let's get started on features up front so as you see you have led daytime running lamps your headlamps will be down here you also have remote start on the key fob right there it does come with two keys now around the sides you have these plastic fender flares that go into the rocker panels and into the rear uh, uh, fender flares. The whole idea behind that, in addition to giving it that rugged look, um, it also protects the vehicle from uh, rock chips, especially here in Calgary. Now, you have 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in all-season rubber. Your mirrors have integrated LED turn signals. They are heated, auto-dimming, and you have blind spot monitoring as well. You also have keyless proximity entry. And I'll get into the interior in a moment, but out back, as you see, Hyundai Kona, all wheel drive badge right there. And you have a backup camera located right there. Interior wise, I think it offers quite a bit of room given the compact dimensions on the outside. Down below, you have a compact donut size spare tire with your jack and all of that. You have a parcel shelf, which is removable. You have hooks right here, and this whole thing can come out. You also have 60-40 split rear seat backs. And then you have a handle right here to shut the lift gate. Now on the inside, you have cloth seating. Plenty of room, I'll show you that in a moment. I'm about six feet tall, 205 pounds. The driver's seat is positioned in my driving position. And as you see, I have plenty of room, even with very long legs. Um, and I have a lot of room to tuck my feet under the driver's seat as well. And what I like is that there are little cutouts on the back of the seats. So your knees have even more room. Um, in the center, you have a fold down armrest with cup holders. And then down below here, you have a USB-A as well as a little pocket for storage. Above my head, I have a dome light and I have handles. Now up front, you have the expected power windows, door locks and mirrors. I have a leather wrapped heated steering wheel right there. I have three level heated seats up front. I have a digital display in the center between the analog gauges. Mileage at the time of this video is 35,139 kilometers. Um, and on that note, over the last 24, nearly 25,000 kilometers, uh, it's averaged 7.2 liters per hundred kilometers, which is pretty impressive for um, a uh, previous rental, number one, and number two, an all wheel drive um, compact SUV. Not bad. You also have automatic headlamps, as I mentioned, and you also have on the left of the steering wheel, quite a few buttons. So of course your dimmer switch, you have downhill brake control, otherwise known as hill descent control. This helps you module or, or this will automatically have the vehicle modulate the brakes as you're going down a slippery slope or a steep hill. Uh, just gives you a little bit more stability, um, which definitely comes in handy here in um, the Calgary area. Um, to the left or to the right of that button, you have your traction control and stability control, which this vehicle is equipped with. On the steering wheel itself, you have controls for your audio, so your volume, your track, your Bluetooth, 
and your Siri and Google Assistant if you have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connected, which this is equipped with. You also have buttons for your um, center display, your cruise control, your lane keep assist, which this vehicle is equipped with. And let's go a little bit further and show you a little bit of that. So. Let's see. So we have driver attention. Um, sorry, driver attention. Uh, you have forward safety. So forward collision warning and emergency braking. Behind this bulkhead, you'll have a sensor that reads the road. You have lane safety. Again, that will be your lane keep assist. You have blind spot, as I mentioned. Parking safety. So in addition to your backup camera, which is right there, which by the way, has guidance lines that turn with the steering wheel to help guide you into your parking spot. It also has rear cross traffic alert. So if anyone is driving um, across, whether coming from the left side or right side behind you, uh, while you're in reverse, the vehicle will warn you both audibly and visually. It will have uh, something that shows up on here. Uh, putting it in the park, uh, moving on, you have Sirius XM radio, you have a touch screen. And as I mentioned, you of course have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I believe they are wired in this vehicle. Um, you have Bluetooth, of course, but who needs that when you have the aforementioned Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? Um, you have your AC right here with physical knobs, very nice. And then down below, you have a little storage pocket, a USB-A for, for there, another USB-A and a 12 volt DC plug located right there, another shelf. You have a shifter right here for your automatic transmission. And then you have two knobs, you have or a knob and a button. This knob right here, that says drive mode, I'll turn that. So you have sport mode, smart and normal. So sport mode will, uh, it, increase the sensitivity of the gas pedal and from what i understand keep the vehicle or the transmission rather in a lower gear uh, making it feel a little bit more peppy and then smart will do the opposite it will try to this is essentially an eco mode uh, it will do everything in its power to um, increase uh, fuel efficiency uh, make the gas pedal a little bit less sensitive encourage economical driving in a normal well that's just normal uh, to the right of the shifter, you have this button right here. So this will lock it, as you see right there, will lock it in all-wheel drive. Otherwise, it is just a um, reactive system, primarily front-wheel drive until it detects slip. So the wheels are spinning, then it will send power to the rear. But if you have this engaged, it will always be full-time all-wheel drive. You have a manual handbrake right there, cup holders right there, and ample storage right there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a summary of this vehicle. Please let me know your thoughts. And um, like I said, if you're not interested in a hail damaged vehicle, um, please let me know. I have tons of options that aren't hail damaged, but I'd love to assist you either way. But uh, Donna, thanks for watching and we'll chat soon. Take care. Bye now.